My job is a very interesting job as a barrister and solicitor of the Supreme Court of the Gambia. Basically, it all started in the streets. It was never easy being here. Hello, esteemed viewers. My name is Fatih Jalo, and here with my co host on the next step, Bakari Fati. We are here with news that will make you stare. Yes, stare. It's time to turn passion into action. With a new talk show on DRTS, nothing can be better. So drag your seats closer to your TV. Are you lost in thoughts in the middle of the night trying to figure out what's right? Or do you always have dreams of the future but wake up with screams? Do you have your inspiration glued to a mountain of doubts dragging you back? Or is it all about being clueless? Would you like an extra light to be reflected in all thoughts of your future aspirations by role models and charismatic figures? Have all these questions answered by lawyers, doctors, artists, carpenters, you name it. All present in the studio. Get, Get inspired, inspired by, by joining, joining us on Jartis with the next step. Watch out, y'all. Imagine having an excellent business idea as a youth, but Wondering how to get to another level? Well, this week, we bring you two prominent young entrepreneurs, the founder of Startup Incubator and the business agenda. They will help you refine your ideas into a better business concept. Follow us on the next step. All right, welcome to the next step with me, Bakari Fati. I'm here with uh, Mr. Alu Jalo, the executive director of Startup Incubator Gambia. And of course, Mr. Goro M. Fall, who is the presenter of the Business Agenda program. Um, gentlemen, you are welcome on the next step uh, TV program. Let me start with Mr. Jalo. You know, as a young entrepreneur, um, how did you actually get to this level where you are? Um, thank you very much. It's it's been a long, interesting journey, and um, part of it is through coming up from the university, of course, and walking through with um, even American Corner as an intern. It was really interesting opportunity, um, setting up the Young Entrepreneurs Association, um, and also having the opportunity to work with the American Chamber of Commerce as their business development manager for almost a year and a half, um, and also championing in the youth, the startup incubator. Um, this has been so far the journey that I've been through to actually support a lot of young people to start their own businesses and to be able to provide for themselves and their families. Okay, uh, Mr. Gora, could you also kindly share you know, a brief background? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah. Wa salatu wa salam ala Rasulillah. I think the first thing uh, that I would say just to um, so that I don't have a duplicate title, is that I am a lecturer. Uh, this is definitely uh, something dealing with business, entrepreneurship, but I'm a lecturer. So how can um, being a lecturer um, put me on such a platform? Uh, when I, um, I was the uh, registrar at Islamic Online University until very recently, just a few months ago, uh, there was this proposal to do um, a program Teaching, teaching what business. So that's how that came about. So business, um, uh, introduction to business and uh, small entrepreneurship, um, uh, teaching uh, st students so they can have certificates uh, to be able to go and get on the ground and start their own businesses. And uh, we had the idea to um, uh, combine that with a radio program, uh, hence the business agenda, which we talked about earlier. Uh, off the camera, uh, which is um, on Alphala Radio from 9 to 10 every Saturday. So um, it's a program that we, um, I guess the, the simple way you can put it is if you teach someone in a classroom about business, it's not enough. So to be able to um, give them a little bit of what's underground, you have to go to the people that are already doing businesses. So you take from those experiences and you share it with the students. So that's pretty much what the uh, radio program is about. It's about sharing experiences of people that are already in business, with people that are thinking about starting businesses, with people that are already in business or doing businesses, 
So, you know, you can learn a lot from someone who's already on the ground doing something from their mistakes to their challenges and what new ideas they might uh, have moving forward. Um, Mr. Jalo, you are as a, as a young entrepreneur. I'm sure there are a lot of young people that are actually looking up to you, um, trying to figure out exactly how has Mr. Jalo um, tried to get to where he is currently, you know, with his own organization now, you know, a startup incubator. From being a Yali fellow, how have you actually used that experience um, to manage an organization like this, which is specifically focusing on developing young entrepreneurs, the next generation of entrepreneurs in the country? I'll tell you, I think um, the YALI program actually was a life-changing experience, um, as most YALI fellows will testify. Um, but I think mine was a little bit of, um, was timely. Um, I went through the YALI program when I was just newly, the pro when the startup incubator just newly started. And I had a challenge of, you know, being in leadership and I was a business development manager, yes. I started the Young Entrepreneur Association, yes. We, we did all of these activities, but it was a new challenge that I um, started. And um, during that time, I needed some more leadership skills and exposure, and I needed also the opportunity to network with other African young leaders around the continent and to learn about how do we actually create that, um, trans set up that institution that's going to help transition f to where it is today. So. The Yali Fellowship has helped me hone my leadership skills and one of the things that it did was um, it gave me the opportunity to be able to run the incubator effectively and actually more importantly to be able to work with themes. Um, you know, I remember before going to the Yali I was much of a lone player, you know, um, I come up with crazy ideas, I was not focused that much, um, there was too many things that I was doing at the same time. Um, coming back to the Yali I started to focus and just getting so the incubators get off the ground and we're actually making an impact in terms of changing people's life as to the mission of the incubator to transform youths from being job seekers to being job creators. Um, I'm sure there are a lot of young people who do come with a lot of brilliant ideas, um, but uh, the question that normal, many, many of them used to encounter is how to get to another level. Now, what is the startup incubator actually doing in ensuring that most of those young people with such kind of brilliant ideas actually succeed? I think our model is really fairly simple and this is called um, the concept of incubation and the concept of incubation is actually bringing young entrepreneurs or young people together who have ideas to actually or who already started business but need to scale their business to the next level to actually help them get to that stage. So basically we do this thing in three different facets and one of it is uh, we do actually have in the initial three, uh, three weeks that they get into the incubator, we do help them in terms of um, the training, the capacity building, and this is a hands-on training where they actually learn on developing their business plan, developing their strategy, reviewing their focus and whatever they want to do. Um, and actually be able to also get feedback from their colleagues, which is the most essential ones. And uh, we do have experts from the tax authorities to the, the lawyers, accountants to come and speak to them during these sessions, uh, just to help them understand the sector and the kind of business they're going to have. They do some market analysis and stuff like that. So those are basically things that we do in the initial stage. And then we also have a mentorship program. Um, during this program is where we now peer them. It's a three month along. After three months of the program, they are paired with a mentor, someone who is already in business or who are in a similar or different business that will actually serve as their sounding board. And they can always reach out to, for advice to also guide them on what to do you know if they have to make a tough decision they can actually reach out to this person to assist them so we have been we've seen we have faced um, a lot of um, as, as we'll say a lot of Gambian entrepreneurs who serve as mentors and we, we we would have not been where we are today without those support from private sector organizations that has helped us to be where we are in terms of our mentorship program and then we also um, do what we call the seed funding scheme and the seed funding scheme is an interest-free loan that we give out to these um, startups and it's not everybody that comes into the incubator gets that seed funding so it's basically depending on your needs and the availability of finances at the time so in our fourth year we have given out up to, up to three hundred thousand dollars in loans um, and we, we we're getting a, a very interesting um, repayment route from the clients and most of them are actually succeeding 
And with the other thing we also have is we have our incubator space as we are here right now. Uh, we do have this co-working space where young entrepreneurs can actually come and use the internet or the computers and do their whatever research they want to do, have meetings with their customers or their partners to actually sign deals and stuff like that. So we also use this platform as a networking opportunity for a lot of young entrepreneurs to come on board. So basically this is how we actually help these entrepreneurs to grow their business to the next level. So we have a very dynamic team of young Gambians, the likes of David Jang. Um, uh, we also have Ajirohi, we used to have Mariama, and we also have a team of volunteers that are actually with us here that actually help these clients on the day-to-day -day operations. And I, David is one of the ones that is leading our monthly con uh, coaching sessions where each of them will come and list with them. So he manages our client relations. Um, if you are to mention some of the success stories, how would that be? Yeah, um, I, I think I have been mentioning most of the success stories. And um, we do have a lot of success stories. And then um, I wouldn't be fair to mention a few of them that are really very incredible. And they're actually even gaining international attention as we speak. Um, one of them was Mohammed, who just came to the incubator with around, uh, when he started with 500 chickens, and now he has over 11,000 chickens. And he's employing over 22 other Gambians that work for him now. Uh, we have someone in, the, um, we, we just have um, a guy who is, came here with, um, he wanted to do trust for cars and changing of trust, and now he actually has a 10,000, 10, no, sorry, 10 million dollars contract to, 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 to recycle stuff and make cooking stove and supply to rural communities. So we also have fashion designers that are actually exhibiting in Fashion Weekend London, Denmark, and we also have um, some of our clients have been to the Af nominated to the African Women Entrepreneurship Program AWEP through the U.S. Embassy. Uh, we have our clients and some of our staff even being Mandela of Indian Fellows. Uh, we know Buso was the last year Mandela Fellow and was a client of the incubator. We have success stories like Asotech who is actually doing amazing uh, web application development, developing apps and websites for institutions which are doing very amazing. Yeah, so basically we have a lot of success stories and more of it you will find on our website and see the stuff that they do. Yep, um, thank you so much. So uh, Mr. Fall, you are the presenter of the Agenda Business Radio Program. And of course you um, teach at um, IU, you know, as a lecturer. Yes, Mr. Fall, so um, as the founder and CEO of Business Agenda, um, what do you think are some of the challenges when young people conceive brilliant ideas but going to the next level always become a problem. Okay. Very interesting. As I was listening to um, Aliu, who I just met uh, just today, and uh, the, um, the, the similarities of the, of, the, uh, of the programs, I'm going to get to the, the, the question. Uh, what is clear is that you don't just jump into business. Uh, I think that's... Um, what, what you realized, or what someone else realized before they decided to come and um, come up with, the, uh, with this organization, the startup uh, incubator, uh, to help people to avoid uh, mistakes. Uh, it's okay to go and learn by uh, making mistakes and uh, have your own challenges and your own set of experiences. But then this is something that in many cases uh, is done with, with a lot of money down the drain. Uh, if you don't have an idea about what's going on on the ground, uh, you end up losing a lot of money. And uh, some, some investments uh, are very difficult to, um, to, you know, it's very difficult to regroup when you lose a, uh, a lot of money. So uh, that's, that's, that's one of the notes that I just had down as I was listening to him. That uh, what they're trying to um, help people not do is to not just jump with an idea. I mean, we all come up with ideas all the time. Right now I have 10 ideas. But if I just jump and start um, trying to run things without knowing exactly what's going on on the ground, uh, knowing what um, other organizations I need to partner with to, uh, to be able to um, get to the place called success, as we call it, uh, it's going to be very, very difficult. So um, what uh, the business agenda is trying to do is so similar it's almost the same, except for the fact that we don't have uh, students, um, uh, we, don't, we don't provide uh, any, uh, any kind of funding at this point. Um, uh, we, uh, we try to uh, get from the experiences of the people on the ground uh, to be able to share that with the, uh, with the students so that um, after knowing something about business uh, by reading from a book or listening to a lecture, then you understand what's happening on the ground. 
So back to the question, uh, which I think I probably forgot. You, you're asking what's the, what, what are the challenges? And that's, and, and, and that's, uh, that's I, I think I answered it without even uh, thinking about it. Um, it's that um, if you have an idea, it's a very good idea, a very br brilliant one, even with the capital at hand, and, and you don't know what's happening on the ground. I'm not, I'm not saying that you will most likely fail. I think uh, the probability is, is, is maybe even 99% that you will, not, you will not be successful. So that's, that's probably one of the biggest mistakes. They don't know how to go about it. The idea is there, but they don't know what, what, um, what road to take to be able to get to the, um, uh, to the level of uh, sustainability. I hope you have learned something productive on this episode of The Next Step. If you are a young person with a brilliant idea, do not stop there. Go for the solutions to solve our problems. My job is a very interesting job as a barrister and solicitor of the Supreme Court of the Gambia. Basically, it all started in the streets. It was never easy being here. Hello, esteemed viewers. My name is Fatih Jalo, and here with my co host on the next step, Bakari Fati. We are here with news that will make you stare. Yes, stare. It's time to turn passion into action. With our new talk show on DRTS, nothing can be better. So drag your seats closer to your TV. Are you lost in thoughts in the middle of the night trying to figure out what's right? Or do you always have dreams of the future but wake up with screams? Do you have your inspiration glued to a mountain of doubts dragging you back? Or is it all about being clueless? Would you like an extra light to be reflected in all thoughts of your future aspirations by role models and charismatic figures? Have all these questions answered by lawyers, doctors, artists, carpenters, you name it. All present in the studio. Get, Get inspired, inspired by, by joining us on Jartis with the next step. Watch out, y'all.